Hey everyone, Derek here. I hope you've had a chance to watch my series on building your color workflow. Today I want to take a few minutes to branch off of that and show you another option for where to place your look. We always want to have the look located at the end of the grading pipeline, but before the ODT. We're going to keep that order the same, but shift things slightly to open up some more options. In my previous video, this is how we had things set up. The IDT is on the pre-clip level, the grade and the look are on the clip level, and the ODT is on the post-clip level. This can work really well, but it also has its limitations. For example, you might have a look that includes several nodes, and it can be time consuming to ripple those changes to the entire scene, or multiple scenes. This is especially true if you want to try out different looks on all your clips, or have a different look for each scene. So here's another approach to consider. It can take a little more time to set up, but can save you a lot of time later on. Instead of creating groups based on the camera source, we're going to create groups based on the look being used. To make this work, we'll need to move the look to the post-clip level right before our ODT. We also need to move the IDT to the clip level. So let's start from scratch to see how this will work. I'll remove all the clips from the current groups. I will delete the look node and add a node at the beginning of the node tree to place the IDT. Because we have different camera sources, we'll have a separate node tree for each camera. This one will have the Blackmagic IDT. And I'll save a still and label it. This one will have the red IDT. And I'll save another still and label it. And I'll do the same for the Rec. 709 image. So then we would select all of the clips from one camera source, apply the proper node tree, and then do the same for the others. Now we can create the groups for our looks. Let's say we want to have two looks, one for interiors and one for exteriors. I will select all the clips for the exteriors, create a new group, and label it. And go to the post clip section. Here we'll put some nodes for our look. And our ODT. I'll go back and do the same thing for interiors. I'll put in the ODT now. You could have done that earlier, but I'll do it now. And I'll copy it over because it'll be the same. So now we're in the same place that we were with the other method, color managed and ready to grade. But we are set up so that an adjustment to our look will automatically carry over to all the clips in that group. So let's say we want a warm, contrasty, saturated look for outdoors. For this example, I'll go to the HDR palette and make each of those adjustments in a separate node. I'll go a little overboard here to make sure it's easy to see. And now if I go to the other clips in the group, those changes already have been made. 
And let's say we want the opposite for interiors. Let's go cool. Low contrast. And desaturated. And as with the other look, it carried over to the other clip in the group. This can be a great way to apply a look quickly to multiple clips and to audition different types of looks before you settle on the one you want. So that's what I have today. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. See you next time.